Is every band based by Trundle? Is it a Wukong first pick? Actually, Yumi's up. Are they gonna lose Nami? Yumi. Let's go, man. They could go Yumi Wukong here. Go Yumi Wukong, and they will go. What does Tian even play these days? I haven't really watched much top esports. I haven't seen top esports in a while. Will they just do Nami as here? No, that's not the super as here enjoyer. I don't know what genre Tian picks. He picked Poppy or something. Oh, Poppy's Bend. What the fuck? Yeah, Wukong is OP then. What, you have 80 junglers? Uh, Diego, Zin, Lee Sin. Yeah, they'll pick Severe here. It's the only... Unless you're playing Ezreal, Twitch, Severe on 4 or 5. I don't know, they'll just ban Severe. Fucking waste of time. Renekton. They have a few mid lane options here. They have... Now another Let me think, they have uh, Akali, yeah. they have LeBlanc, sense, they have Ari, they have Lissandra, like they have... Uh, uh, Akali G's draft so far. Well, you blind picked up. Picked up. Picked What's a good blind pick? Renick to the Norner down, Nar, yeah. And I don't know if I like Ari here, but... They like Ari here, I guess. Any team fighter is good. What's a good team fighter you have on 5? Yeah, cannon's good. Lock it. But Tian did full topside into red. Viper's wave is really shit. He got the cannon with W though. That's really good. They ignite him as well. Creeped in CJJ or what? Pretty important for him to keep mar marking jungle so his bot can keep playing like psychos. He's near the top crab, double crab him, but he'll be even in XP. Holy shit, Siver, Siver Yumi is actually winning 2v2. Yeah, the first strike Lucian, I don't know the math on the damage compared to PTA. I just remember Ruler did it once in a BO3, and ever since then, everyone's just kind of copied it. But looks like both teams now I presume late game it does give you a huge damage buff when you go for the E Gale Force because in most cases you like E, Auto Auto, Q, Gale Force, Ult or something in that area of a combo. And I presume that First Strike does more damage than PTA in that instance. Plus it scales really well, plus it's good money, plus it procs on your W in lane. I guess that's the logic. Having a uh, game, I said, all road, like it always leads back to bot for EDG. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think they can die. But, oh, maybe they can scout here. They have to go on Nami, I think. Lucian might die, though. Yeah, he's gonna die. Let's go, man. Holy, EDG is fisting them. It's completely doomed. Do you know why? Because JJ is gonna base and he's gonna get his whole top camps. If Sin Zhao was here while they were diving bot, then it's okay. Still sucks, but at least you can take his red. But now he's gonna sprint to Herald, and I think Yumi should be joining Wukong right now. And he should be helping him on red and contesting Herald. I think maybe EDG is making a small mistake here, but insane dive. Maybe they don't want to contest Herald because they don't have ult on uh, Lissandra and Top has no push, so that's why Yumi stays bot, which is, I guess, understandable. Yeah, maybe it's not a mistake. By about 1500 gold yeah, Wukong gets his whole top side, so he'll get, I guess, level 7. No, he just hit level 6. He'll get level 7 off his bot camps. Drake's still up. EDG really needs to start contesting his Drake's. Their mid to bot is winning, but Wukong showing top makes it so it's uh, a bit losing now, of course. That pink on their entrance red is insane. Oh, what is Tian doing? He's kind of blast coding into their mid jungle. Ooh, scout, flash W. Yeah. Nuts. Oh, close. Close, close, close. Scout 4 0. I think Scout can't really engage unless Yumi's here. I think Top Esports should just force it. Wow, really good map play by Top Esports. Really, really, really good map play by Top Esports. Three towers in a minute. Pretty cool game so far. Really good mid to bot early game. Micro by um, EDG and then good macro by Top Esports to even the game up a bit. You have Ari as well as already not behind oh. damage mid lane. Scout? Oh, oh Scout! I mean, oh, he got charmed. It's fine, though. He the got side. their bot lane sums, bot lane sums enemy bot lane sums are down. Oh, Scout smurfing. Scout is just Can they force Nash with TP? They have enough turn with uh, Kennen. 
huge. And Wukong like, tank. It might have been Viper and Mako getting it They're baiting it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this bait is insane. On go no one's shown yet. Now. They're waiting around. They think they're on it. But they're not. Slide. They're going to turn. Hello. Big comes through. No for oh my god, god. That was an incredibly good bait by Viper as well. Oh, I would love to see that from Top Esports Vision. Oh, JJ just sent it. And his EDG walked wow, they actually got out. Mark's one shot, though. Oh, Flandre. It's a bit of a scissor from EDG. Viper steps up to the no armor on Wayward. Oh, Viper. As well. He does a lot of damage. Good too. They have double Seven smite if they want to send it. Andre, I wonder if he's going to try and come around the second do it. Already finding a pick. Well, Again, Wayward's dead. Okay. To to Viper Don't need to flank if it's one already. Let's go, man. Could go up here as well. In case they do want to contest. They don't have damage for this. They, they do have might get wiped if they, they see them. Stay and they're waiting for they need ults. They need ults. They're up pretty soon. EG Wukong ult. Yumi ult. Tien is just out of the fight, but Mark left behind. Flashes over. Jet just on the chase. It's Jack Yulub now too. Exhausted out. Uh, Flandre will meet you over the wall. GG. Jack Yulub it out. And guess where he's coming from? The Flash W. Knight rooted up. He goes golden. Trying to buy his own space. But with the spirit rush. Oh, the boomerang. No, the max range auto from Viper. And Edward Gaming, what is it in playoffs that makes him such big chads? What is going on? EDG wanting to, to once again pick up another summer title, wanting to go back to Worlds and defend is now yeah, Scout. Trying at the very least, but the whole cavalry's here from EDG. Tien flashes over, but Viper is on the onslaught. Running they stopped Baron. Jungler, Je -Je to Spain. Oh, Tien. In the past two series, has been well met. Tien's trying his heart out. But Viper now with his fourth kill. EDG. So, yeah, when Viper gets Every IE, I think this, uh, do they even need to force Nash in turn? I feel like their turn is a bit weak without Cannon Flash or Lissandra Flash. They can just get auto spaced. Contract Joga. And look, he's got the Pope's Church Bell as well, so gives that a ring and getting rid of these charmers. Flash over the wall. Knight actually rooted up. Scout. Really nice CC by Scout. Ah, oh, Scout just won the fight. EDG Fuck, adding go, another man. one into the mix. In These team fights track, feel slightly competitive, even though EDG is stomping them. them. And, oh, but uh, okay. EDG are not really making any mistakes on their engage. Ever. But like experience-wise, top esports are even or ahead. So that's why the games are close. Like look, JJ's down a level. Flandre's down a level. It's only the bot lane of EDG that's really far ahead. I think they can just finish. Are up once again. And Flandre has the flash. Hasn't been spotted oh, out. There's no the Meganar in comparison. The Tien needs a steal, but rooted up with the Glacier Prison <laughs> and just dead. Best need to pay for objective bounties. They need to get this bot tier one, but it's there too late. Siv's going to be doing the same thing as Wayward with a flank. Look at how fast the Sivir is with Cloud Soul. Look! Oh, Look at Viper! Just two hits everyone, boys. Look! This delivery driver is looking for tips. It's been an exciting go, back and forth, but it was dominant. It was pure, Much love to you, Cedral. I don't even think that was a huge draft okay, problem. I think the blind pick Nar was you know, the, the competitive maybe not ideal. Jungle matchup also was not ideal, but um, yeah, I think this was just completely like they dropped their mid to bot way too much, so maybe they can change their mid jungle pits, picks. Their top side was just odd because Kennen is good into Nar, Xin Zhao is just average across the board, and Lissandra is good into Ari, so they might need to change their top side a bit actually now that I think about it. Trafe and Rakan into Zeri Brown. They're gonna ban junglers. Poppy's down, Trundle's down, Viego's down. Ari Talia's good bans for Silas. Viego, Lee Sin, Trundle, Talia, Vi, Poppy. Wukong picked. Is it a Zinzao game, I guess? There's Yuani jungle. I think it's good, actually, if they have a good AD top. Also, the nice there said Yuani blind. They will pick Orin, though. No, they won't pick Orin. Oh, yeah, they'll pick Renekton. They're gonna pick Akali into Silas. Actually, get some push so they can do something top. I think they will. What do they count this Renekton with? Jax is terrible. It's terrible! Doesn't Jax suck into Renekton? I know this. I remember this matchup. Expect always told me this matchup is terrible for Jax early. Maybe at two items, Jax can win, but. Actually, Draven, Jax, Renekton, Silas, Akali. It's a psycho game. Sejuani, Jax, Silas, Renekton will fuck them. 
Oh, Sejuani, very smart pathing. Renekton is dead. Renekton is dead. Good night, Renekton. Bye bye, Renekton. You are dead. Mama! Why does no one play Poppy Sup in Pro? Bob, she is busted jungle ATM and pick slash ban, but she is a great counter to most engaged supports and Zeri Yulami. Nice dodge. Oh, he's out. Gonna get the flip around onto Flandre. His counter strike is available when he starts turning it around. And Scout nice finally ditch. joins in and yet again, Scout is the difference. With Where's the damage at? Uh, bro how broken is Sejuani? Fucking cringe champ. Games. Knight is a level for a Kali lyric. As chain lash oh my god, man. Jungle roll. And right Jungle now, roll. They picked Rakan into Brown. Nice. Why did the. Uh, was it T1 yesterday who picked Amumu twice into Brown? I can just pick Rakan. It's so good. It's so good. Problem that Rakan has like problems in lanes where he can get like CC'd really easily, you know? Like Nautilus is quite annoying for Rakan, right? Because if he ever dashes in, he just gets auto attacked by Nautilus and then queued. So he'll always lose the trade when he dashes back. But with Brown, you can trade so quick with W auto Q and shit and then E back that Brown just can't do anything. But yeah, against champs like Leona, Nautilus, maybe it's more annoying for Rakan because they have Aftershock, right? So the second he dashes past them, he's fucked. Or dashes on them. This is really good fight for EDG. Oh, I didn't get a finish. Oh, they didn't get a finish. But that was so sick. They had like a three man Rakan knock up with uh, Draven ult. They didn't kill anyone. I guess it's because Jax wasn't there. It was 4v5. But what happened? JJ wastes his Q and has no flash, so top esports engage on him, get two knock up. But then Mako, didn't he get a turbo engage here? He gets three of them charmed and double knock up into a Draven ult. And no one dies. Yeah, if they had Jax, maybe they would clean at least two there. Nice play by Knight. And guess where we're coming back to? The Herald that was never taken. Oh we're goodness. fighting over it again. That's yeah, might be fucked here. They didn't finish him. Oh my god, Jax's like jump got cancelled as well. And JJ's dead. And Scout is out. Viper is in Psycho Land. They want Knight so badly, yeah, they can't move. But they're willing to potentially lose the game for it. Top Esports. Top oh, Esports gonna win game two. Let's be poked. So Tian is absolutely caught here. I don't know why he's doing this because they're first from top and mid. So they collapse onto Wukong. He cancels Jack's jump here, right? Yeah, he does. So he actually gets out. And then Draven has to go up because of his axes. Look how he's juggling them. No, he just has nowhere to go. He's just fucking stuck. Looks like a super hard game for EDG now. Unless Jax can somehow just carry overside, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Extra doubt. Can it hit the eye? If they hit the eye, they could probably kill this. Oh, oh nice ult on the TN. He's dead. Fucking <laughs> TN. They TP in. Oh, Mako. Oh, the tip. Cleanse comes out, knock up there, but concussive blows needs one all for the Herald. So I think Mako tried to hit the eye here by Wing forwards, but he didn't get it. And then JJ tried by queuing forwards, but he didn't get it either. Then he has to flash, but then Tian doesn't realize the Herald's dead and there's no wave, so he gets chain CC'd. Scout TP's behind him, so Mako tries to flash in. Nothing else happens. I really wonder who wins on side lane right now, Jax versus Renekton. I feel like Renekton wins, right? Still? I think Jax needs like Frozen Heart, Death Dance, and then maybe he can start clapping. Jax wins? Are you sure? I feel like Renekton can win with Blade so easily. You guys underrate how much damage his, uh, his item can do and how tanky he will be with ult and played steel caps. Pretty much under right now with Wayward ready to slice and dice through the vineyard wave and lyric. I'm just waiting for this one as Flandre starts it off. There's a good stun forcing the flash down. Oh, he flashed Sejuani ult, that was good, otherwise he was one shot. He would get Sejuani ulted into Rakan knock up. He panic ulted a bit though. A mistake, ult shock laser over the wall, and Wayward doesn't care now as they jump on in. Top Esports grouped up, but his return from EDG gonna come through. Not bad for top. At the forefront, but Flandre about to die. Knight jumps on in for that one as the Shuriken Pip connects, but EDG move under turret. I mean, Viper, the Viper gets some good so hits off, but then the smart. fight spits Playing a bit, and Zeri can chase with the Kali. Lots of movement speed, uh, lots of movement abilities. 
Oh, Zeri. Yeah, he's caught out. Tien under turret. One more step. But oh, JJ just saved him. Tien's dead. Holy fuck. Absolute hero. Tien drops down. Oh, Zeri. No, no. Blank, but you look at the damage already coming out, and the fact that TS haven't been aggressed on. Doing good. Andre looking for a pick himself. Devil got dashes though. So much damage to Mako. Jackalove gets over the wall. Mako's fucked. His ulti comes out, and they don't have enough at this point. That's over. Andre gonna be next on the menu, boys. It's Jackalove. Flashes for good measure. A double kill for the Zeri while Wayward now plays. They could just go Nash and Kali to be back. Oh, oh scout. No, but he's over the wall, oh, nice snipe by fucking Viper. Him, but they find one, but Tom, one shutdown works. Up once one for two. two for one. Probably we'll even considering the shutdown gold. I don't know how much Akali had, but, but I'm guessing Draven has a BF sword in base. Actually, Tien is getting really low HP. What the fuck? Side items. Is just one shot to on? They need to get Jack's TP. But he's not TPing. They're not getting Jack's TP. Oh shit. We might lose their bot tier 2 here if they don't base or Wayward doesn't TP bot. Oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get it and Draven just got one shot. Uh, GG. It was a bit of a flip, but it worked. Oh, maybe if maybe if they got Nash, but it doesn't matter. Three of them died. One minute on Soul. EDG have to fight it. Jax hasn't got TP, but he has death done, so he just needs to base and run there. Oh my god, they made fun of them. It's a teleport towards the Nexus turrets. The first one is going to drop as TS are looking for the fight to end it. Nice block. Now EDG are here to oh, Jackalove might be fucked. Our first seed is no, he's not fucked. He has GA. GA comes through, but EDG used everything to kill Jackalove. JJ running away from the rest oh, of the fight. Oh, Viper dropped his Axis. TS have gap closed the day as Wayward runs in with a flash. And Viper has been gapped in this game. He's the last one standing for good reason. A top esports lyric. GG. Hey, okay, well, top esports got stomped and then they stomped. Wukong, yeah. If they're going to do Wukong Zeri, they should probably do Wukong Yumi. Wukong Zeri could work if you give them Yumi. And down to a Lulu. So many times in our oh, Yumi's banned. And then they will go to Shinami. Or... You know, in or Nina. December 1st, I don't actually know what works with Nina. <laughs> I would be a bit scared of Orn. Is Wayward a Fiora enjoyer? Right now, with the side but I'm thinking Ari on 4. It's good into Vi. If they pick Ari into Vi, Lissandra, I think the Ari's fucked. I think there's Azir, Swain. Mm, Akali? don't like Akali that much. I prefer Azir or Swain. Vex is okay. Rise is not bad. Ken? Five, Don't pick Shen. You're griefing. Again. Just pick uh, a carry. It can fuck these solo lanes, double AP solo lanes. Uh, and okay, Joel, if Zeri is OP and she is, why is she rarely banned on the first six bands? Because you have to draft things which are more important than Zeri, which can shut Zeri down, right? Zeri's open, Vi is open. Vi, very good into Zeri. Do I have a bot matchup open? Lucian Nami's up. Okay, so I can choose between Zeri and Lucian Nami. So, there's two bot lanes that are up that are really strong, but Vi is open. So I'll pick Vi and pick whichever bot lane they don't, because Vi is good into Lucian. That's an example why Zeri is not first picked. You have to weigh up S tier and A tier picks, how many of them are open that you can match with, and how many of them aren't open, right? Or if it's just straight up OP like Yumi. So a good example there would be if Lucian was banned and Trundle wasn't banned, for example, then maybe first picking Zeri is better. Because if they get Vi, we get Trundle. So then we get plus one, right? So it's a... Uh, what the fuck is that skin? Looks like she's running around with a fucking taser. So you have to weigh up the plus one, plus two when you're drafting. I need to start forcing Herald, but I think top esports have a stronger Herald fight. Oh, it's actually really bad for TES, I think. Their bot can't walk up. And their whole bot camps are gonna go down. Gonna sting a bit for top esports. Third plate, but this time given over to JJ's glacial path gonna be taken, but Knight doesn't go any further. Flash is over. Gets Mako his flash. Oh, 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 really good play by Knight. He knew he had no flash. On Nami. Oh, their setup is so good mid. The meta is bench. I don't think the meta is super bench. It is. Uh, I think it can be bench, but uh, I mean, what more do you want in the meta, right? The only thing that you could take to the next level is if you had like 
a Fiora top, a Riven top, a Z mid, an Akali mid, uh, LeBlanc's. I think that's the only way to make the meta like crazy mode. Maybe carry, carry junglers. Oh, Viper. Uh, big mistake by Top Esports. Oh my god, Top Esports just threw. Uh, top Esports is griefing. Good TP by Flandre. Gout will catch Top. Yeah, Enchanters are a bit boring to watch, that's true. Struggling to defend. It doesn't look like he'll be able to. He actually might go down. Engage, knock back, oh. Wow, couldn't that stop watch, couldn't ult. That was really insane by EG. Oh man, EDG coming back into this one as Wayward is just crossing <laughs> over. Goes immune, but culling at melee range. Viper running into him. There's the Nami ult again. Mako and Viper. The They're just carrying the, the whole game. Lane. If you have time. All, I gotta say, all ulties up for top. Oh, he can flash W. Oh, yes, oh, it's oh, so oh, fucking oh, good. Oh, night. night. Stopwatch, where's the follow up? Where's Tian? Where's the knock ups? Where's the damage? Where's the damage? Someone. No one's dying. Oh, Viper. Oh, Viper. Saved them. Oh, Tian could have just gotten in there. Way easier. I think he made a few mistakes there. He should have just sent it when Night went. He would have been able to. He has. A, it doesn't show that he has flash on spectate, but he does have. He does have flash. It's just a. It's just a bug. Look at his flash. Five flash. It's all bugged. He could have just flashed in. Flashy ult. W. The TPing on him. Oh, he's TPing. Oh. He was just TPing Night with the unluckiest timing. Helpful to get the wave. He's in the middle of everyone. That's yeah, good. That they would be able to get his top tier two otherwise. I think they can still get that top tier two though. They have another wave of 25 seconds. Wayward is going to base and go there, I guess. But I think they can just force that top tier two. Oh no. Viper. Again, the snake strikes. Uh, Viper is just completely carrying this game. Check him, PC. Three item Lucian. One and a half items Zeri. Let's see back Okay, all in. Holy fuck, this champ hurts. Well, what's the next play? It just feels like the game's gonna slow down a lot now. Viper's getting closer to, I, to IE. Okay, so they can push waves to tier 2. Their Nash force is not bad. They have good turn. Breaks in 4, so they've got loads of time to work with. Do the daily pot. I already did the daily pot. No flash to do. He's dead, I think. Oh, wait, they're gonna walk into them. Well, maybe not. He panicked. Oh, Knight. But there's no one that can follow. Relying on Jackulove when he's an item and a half down. Top Esports going out the bloody way, but can need to work and further back carrying. over. Nice Lush flash by JJ. Yen's gonna... In. Oh, he's out. Right towards the Baron to try to leverage he's gonna die. Oh, 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 again. oh. Would lucky to get out. Close. Man, they lose Nash. The They're gonna Knight contest Baron. They're TPing in with Knight. He's just gonna come have to swap the smite and send it. They know. Can he swap the smite? Didn't swap yet. If he could swap, maybe he could get it. Really good kill. Look, look what happens here. Everyone runs away, apart from Scout. And he's saying, guys, just fight them. We can win. Boom. TN one shot. Go in. <laughs> Why can I only hear champion moans? I have not heard a single voice line this entire time. I've been watching. All I hear is oh, oh. Woo woo. Huh? What? Oh, okay. oh my god. Wayward. Oh my god. Wayward. Back it up. Carry. Keep up the good stream, Cedral. Very, 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 very. Very. Look at the Yui. Stepping on up. Aqua Prison. Jackie Love oh, about to watch. die, but that's the night too. Viper's dead. And Zeri is doing Zeri things again. Jackie Love running with the rest of his team. But May goes next. And Lyric, Top Esports will not be forgotten yet. How did fuck how the fuck did Top Esports win that fight? Watch this Gwen. Look. Look this Gwen. Look. Watch. Just one shot Swain and almost killed Lucian with an R3. 
It's close to pass to be taken, but Corp Ford got hit max range and five bars. He's caught. Let's go, man. It's fucked. Knight got caught again. Knight keeps getting caught. Top lane is caught out too. I don't think a needlework can save that as he misses the last. Wow, there he goes. Game's over. Let's go in. Oh, Knight got caught way too many times. They're getting caught out now, they're getting pinched. Okay, now they're pinched. They're trying to turn it around onto the fight. Jackula is the only one left standing, but they all turn heads. Oh, Knight was really playing bad this game. After a replay, his engages Knight were good, his flanks were good, lane, but his side lane was horrible, like, man. Are just Let's by get it. One by one. Lucian Ben, not one surprised. Nice Yumi's up, Zeri's up. Really Sivir, yeah, Sivir. Four jungler bands, holy. That role is balanced. I hope EDG have a Zeri Lulu here. Dinza might be the next best jungler. EDG, we're scaling. I think they should ban Skarner, actually. What would JJ play right now? Lee Sin is useless. Garvin, actually. They need to ban Jarvan. They should really ban Jarvan. Yeah. Ari, Akali is also not a bad ban here. One ban is good. This Sejuani is going jungle, I think. A top esports 4 5 that would be like Turbo Chad would be just Silas Fiora. What are you picking to Renekin? I just want to note one thing. Even though for the matchup in the mid lane might not be as good, Knight is. What are you going to pick into Renekin? Knight Silas is like no other. Don't really want Sejuani top. I like Silas. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like it matters. What do you pick top? You called it meta, Nar. But uh, it, it got punished so many times Oof. in the lane that team that started opting out. And take us to the fifth and final game with an invade. Oh. Maybe they can do it. There's an ignite oh. down as well. Exhaust flash. Is over the wall. Double flash. Everyone committing. Jer Jer gonna die here. But to who? Auto attack and Mark gets it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the game is won because enemy team has Viper make on, on Zeri Lulu. When Tian is 6, he just needs to go mid, unlock Silas a bit. I think top esports will win this game. If they keep it up, they have so much top push. And let's wait does this. That's fine. They're full rotating for Herald. I think top esports win the 5v5, but I think they think that EDG's bot lane is going to match top to make it a 5v5. Uh, the 3v3, sorry. And EDG's bot lane is going to go top to make it a 5v5, so they have to match. I if think top esports win this 5v5. There's that extra five on top of it. We I think the first person to walk up gets Herald? rolled. Maybe this is but the Meganar is out actually. And he has right he has Sin's ult, which is not optimal. Oh, it's off actually. Out, Wait, they just lost two ults. And look, JJ's in as well. That's a flash from Flandre on top they of the Nine. They still up, double stun with Jackie Love. Off on the wing, that Yumi ult. Oh, Jackie Love. Here. The scout's getting targeted yeah, down. Win. Wayward picks up the first Unless kill. Daring. Low health bars as Viper can play around with that. They lost Herald. Comes in Actually, good for EDG if they can get the buff. Not much top esports can do. It's they need the buff. Dying. Oh, nice R flash. Really nice R flash. It's Knight. They have Sejuani ult. Too far. Too far. Oh, Tian. But Maker might have to burn a flash to get out alive. Wild Growth comes first, but Knight now spot oh, on the Oh, that flash was terrible. Is it too late for this Lulu? Knight might be saying yes with the Absconder ducked in. Down. They'll get Drake. Yeah, I think this and, game is know, really, really good for top esports. I mean, yeah. EDG scaling is okay on their mid bot, but like Sinzao yeah, Renekton so later on will be really fucking useless. Well. So, it's so it kind of handicaps them a bit. So what's the next play for TES? They really want to get this top tier one. But Nar has no TP, and Renekton does, so they have a small window where they can't. But it will be up by the time he goes to bot. I think Nar should take red, no joke, and just go bot and fist this Renekton. One month to year. And just contest mid into top, try to get vision here. Happy days. Red buff, red buff Nar is going to destroy Renekton. Sorry for the pause, folks, but don't worry. We're getting some aggression to make up for it. As here we go, engage oh, over geez. the wall. Even the observer didn't see that coming. Tian just comes out of nowhere. It's a good shuffle, though, from Scout to buy the space. And Blue side wins every game. Head. LPL They're knows it. I don't know. Game well, five. Game well, five. Game maybe, five. But Mako is walking in blind. Oh, here, we're not. So we're not cursing what it. What kills you? Wild growth going to be used by Knight at Holy least. Holy Knight. <laughs> Holy shit. Solo kills him. It's the whole team. Nice TP in from EDG as Knight has to deal with the rest of them. Try to take out Viper on the way. They're waiting for Soul, so there's not really much to do. Just get IE on Severe. Wait for Soul. Renekton gets one shot. Since I was never useful. This is the problem. EDG scales good, but their top side doesn't. And it's not like their top side bridged them a good early game, did it? They're down 5k gold. 
Knight looks a lot more comfortable. I don't know if I'm wrong here, but on Lissandra and Control Mages, I don't know. I think he's much more of a Silas Akali player. Are they gonna dive? But Knight's here, Wayward's here as well. They just need a Meganara's Knight has an ulti, uses it early, no! EDG stands strong for now. 40 and seconds on Soul the still. To blast into a they game got five. two ult trade, uh, three ult trades. Silas is really back up. Wayward can make some magic here. Oh, he got stunned. Knight's gonna stop watch. Oh, Viper's dead. Down. The god of EDG is dead. Jackie Love flashes forward into Scout. This Silver is throwing his boomerang. They got Nash and Soul. I think Silas can TP bot and do Drake actually with Nar. Now, Dragon coming up in 10 and they can three man. I think maybe Nar can just solo Drake then. Looks like they're even gonna go for both. I would invest Wayward Silas on the Drake at least. The actually no, they can't. Jung Jungle's alive. The problem now is, is if EDG sprint to Drake and 3v1 with Scout TP. That's why I think Knight should have TP'd Bolt. All members of EDG here as Knight steals away the Crescent Guard. Wayward's joined in, but there's no Mega Narva. Keep note of that as EDG tried to deny the solve of top esports. Then they all turn Silas. He can't get hit. Game number five. Knight now on top of Andre, trying to carry on his famous Silas. Oh, Wayward. Nice, nice dodge by Viper. That's free. Viper can't carry. I think Silver's too strong. Returns to the conversation. We've been talking up Viper, but now it's Jackie's turn. Quadra kill. Jackie Holy fuck, silver scrapes. Dude, Jackie Love says, fuck you, Viper. Ooh. But EDG gets... Blue side! They ban Nautilus. Wait, why did they ban Nautilus? They can't first pick Renata. Bundle and Wukong open. Sivir is also quite high prior because of junglers being up. Aphelios over Sivir? Isn't Sivir good into Aphelios? Can't they just slam Wukong Sivir? Ah, they deny the Tom Kench. Wait, they might play Jinx on 3 then. Oh my god, they should play like Aphelios Rakan then or something. Jungler could be Trundle. Trundle is pretty good into Tom Kench. Wukong, Vi is a terrible pick. Could play Trundle Azir, drop support. Lulu might be good actually here. I think Lulu is pretty good, yeah. Just go Lulu, and they might go Senna or Jinx, but I think you're fine. You just need to deny Orn, I think. This or pick it away. You don't need to give them or and even if you have Trundle, I don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Azir ban. Yeah, I think they could have picked Azir on 3. What do you have bot? You have... You have Lulu, Karma, and Lulu, Karma, Rakan. I think Azir was also not a bad pick there. I would ban Ari. Or... Silas. Or... Actually, Silas is really annoying. They ban Fiora. They want to stop Wayward Game 5. They they ban Orn as well. Why don't they want Orn? Against the range support, it's so fucking good. Oh, they are. They want to get through it, right? It's a guess they're scared of the Trundle. Wayward's probably playing a carry then. I really think they'll pick. What's up, Cordril? It's been a while. If they pick Silas though, have you given your thoughts on the They can pick Talia. Renekton. They can go Talia, Renekton, four five. They might pick Renekton here. I doubt it though. But they ban side. I said I want to play the Talia. But Renekton blind is happening for sure. I think. Gwen is also up. Aatrox could also be good for EDG. Nar blind. Camille is impossible to play against their champs. Uh, I think Gragas is good against their champs. Renekton is okay, but I don't like it too much. Kennen is good. Kennen is good. Ah, Kennen is not that great actually. I don't really like Kennen that much. I think you're playing. You're playing Trundle Lulu. I don't know if Kennen is doing much in that draft. Oh, Kennen Lissandra on four or five. I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. I would prefer. I would prefer something like Gragas. I don't like. Yeah, I prefer Swain it, it if you're going to do a mid there. EDG when we talk about their team Akali I like a lot. Knight's counter pick. Corky is understandable. You're playing Sanatam. Galio is dog shit. Okay, I don't know. I don't like these four fives. Okay, so let's take stock. Pushing lanes. 
Tunnel solo starting red, Wukong solo starting red. I don't know if JJ can do anything level 2 bot side, actually, if he has push. Go to enemy blue or something, could work. Needs to be careful not to run over any wards. Looking at his positioning and how he's clearing red, it looks like he's going to do something level 2. So he's going to go to enemy blue because he has bot push. I also think he'll have top push as well. So if Tian tries to cross map, the annoying thing for JJ is he doesn't have a ward on his own blue, so he doesn't know about the cross map until... If anything, it's good for Wukong. He didn't have any pushing lanes. Bot was pushing into him, mid is pushing into him, top is pushing into him. And now he can cross map a crab and a full clear against Trundle. Not bad. I think Wukong takes that. Unless the Wukong and unless the Ken and Lissandra start collapsing on him in a sec. Now JJ will take crab. Yan will take crab. I think Tess is winning in this. They need to get to level 4 or 5 on their lanes, I think, to be able to start contesting a bit. How does EADG engage? Well, they, they play on flanks. Obviously, head, head first is not going to work. They play on flanks. EDG can just keep up bot push the whole game. Pop has to play safe now a bit, of course, because he has no flash. But JJ got top crab, but he needs to run back bot to match Wukong the whole game. Big first blood. Big first blood. There's no point to flash away here for Tian. It's useless. Their bot lane was collapsing. Up. Their bot lane uh, from EDG was collapsing here. Flashes this way, Lissandra just cues him. Flashes over Wolves, he has nowhere to go. It's smart what the EDG are doing here. They know the top esports will try to cross map, so they're just sending Aphelios top. I think they will lane swap here and just lane with Kennen. Otherwise, they're griefing. I think they will just take this Herald lane top. 4v1. Exactly. I think he Take the whole tower. Sure Shanae is very bad at taking towers. Oh my god, it's tempo heaven. Scout goes bot to catch the wave. So he can't get dove, but he'll lose a mid wave. But he stops them from getting played <laughs> bot at least. They're gonna match top now because they lose their tier 2 otherwise. Where they can drop the and just good play by, by EDG. Really good macro. Now he will base and go back bot on uh, Aphelios. So Flandre got a bit fucked from this. He lost a couple waves, but... I mean, he, would, he would have lost waves or their bot lane would have lost waves on the cross map, so someone has to sack themselves. Maybe it's better with Lulu. Oh, Jackie Love just ulted backwards. Oh my god. His ult is bigger, and EDG step on up. Oh no, Jackie Love. Jackie Love, why? Our god tier 80 carry. This was a close fight. Would Senna ult forward change anything? So Viper goes super aggro. Scout's W was good, but he gets knocked up by Wukong. So he can't ult. Exhaust hits, he ults Jackie Love, he gets eaten. Okay, so Jackie Love comes out. If he ulted forwards... Oh, he wouldn't have done a lot. He would have done a bit of damage. Not enough to change this fight. Okay, Top Esports gonna do something. Viper's guns are a bit shit, but it's fine. Knight's gonna get blue. Wayward's about to get one shot if he walks in that bush. Oh, he knows someone's in there now. He lost his boomerang. He has no mega. JJ is low. Viper gets hit by Root. Jackie Love could just ult them soon, I think. No, it's reset. Chilling. Being chilling. Does EDG back? No, they don't. They're giga chats. Oh, JJ no flash. JJ no flash. Oh, what the fuck? He just got pushed all the way over here. Eh? What? <laughs> That's, That's kind of cringe. He was pushed from terrain over terrain. <laughs> Sucks. Sucks. They have to catch top wave ASAP. Yo, TP top wayward or something. Hello. Come on, this wave is like two and a half waves. I can see it and it's making me cry. Please. <laughs> he does so much fucking damage. Oh. 
going golden, but Wayward emoted, throws the Q, Why? <laughs> Wayward is such a troll, man. 85 souls on center. There you go. Chatter said it. Which chat is my source? I trust, I trust him. Oh, Wayward. You cocky motherfucker. Wait, top esports are winning these Drake fights. Flandre needs to TP back on bot wave. They need to be careful of TP on bot wave. They're pinging bot wave. They know he's going to TP on bot wave. Why doesn't he just TP on bot wave? He is. He needs to send it. Ooh, JJ's cut off. How does Viper ever get in range? Holy top esports. Ooh, Scout just flashed in. Ooh, Flandre, nice exhaust. Senna saves him. Oh my good god. They're winning, they're winning, they're winning, they're winning, they're winning, they're winning. Top esports, Viper's dead. Holy Against smokers! The world champions, top esports, our first seed are doing it. Top esports are pushing. They can get Nash. They can get Nash. What? Holy fuck! EDG pack, smoke it up. I mean, top esports kite back really well. Look at how good they kite back. Instant scout, instant zonias, and then cannon, instant exhaust. Ten ult across two. Three, Tian disrupts the backline, Wayward free hits, Flandre's one shot, Viper then is free hitting, but where is the damage at, bro? Oh, he gale force into Talia E. Oh no. Fucking Talia, dog shit champ. Wanna kill him, Wayward wants to get revenge for last time. Throw up the emote, Wayward, the rookie in the top lane, taking down a world champ. This guy wants, you don't need to be afraid of him. Okay, Scout's actually gonna get the root down, but Wayward's going into Mega now. Oh, Mark's one shot, Amiko's one shot. They're dead. Wow. Top esports. Oh, I'm so happy for Wayward. They're going to Worlds. Oh, that's awesome. Top esports at Worlds. That's hype. Oof. We got Knight at Worlds, we got Chovy at Worlds, we got Faker at Worlds, we got Caps at Worlds. We're building it up, we're building it up.